The Las Vegas UFO hunters are out looking for UFOs. They've gone high tech. They're using a sensitive array of infrared and low light cameras in the hope that it will help them capture images of unknown objects in the sky. This equipment is generally used for um, surveillance in very, very dark environments. Some of them use existing light. They can operate even from starlight. Um, the other one is a traditional green night vision camera, which amplifies light. So if anything comes from that direction towards us and it emits light, we'll see it. Even before the cameras are up and running, Alex spots something in the sky. You can see the contrail, and that looks like probably an F-16. What do you think we're going to see out here tonight? Well, I'm hoping to see something that, that was engineered back, reverse engineered from alien technology. It's Almost like, ready. Almost yeah. there. If you had the infrared, we may be able to see some things that we can't see with our eyes. Maybe we're they're not still supposed there. to be seeing. We're not supposed to be seeing. So that gives us a chance to look behind the veil. Is, it, is this legal? Yeah, perfectly legal. Okay. You're on public land. Okay. If you get arrested, you don't know me. If a UFO is spotted, the hunters have the equipment to capture images of the craft in intricate detail. If they do, it will be a huge moment. We need to make it work. These are our eyes tonight. Well, that was close. Uh, hopefully we'll see some strange lights up there that move in uh, kind of a zigzag way or oh, moving really fast. Look, look over here, this way. Uh, I hope to see a spaceship, actually, <laughs> if it's possible. In the darkness, the hunters spot something off in the distance. Is that thing right over there? there it's is. too dark for conventional cameras to pick out. But what about the low-light ones? That was just moving. It disappeared. It dropped like a stone right over there. Oh, it was a big light. Oh, that was beautiful. Look, it's lit. Right there, right he there. Lit. You see him? He's orangey red. One o'clock. Has the infrared and low light camera rig captured it? Okay. Now, this just happened. Right above the two, you'll see on our third camera, a light comes up. And then right here is another one. And they both stay up for just about the same amount of time and then disappear. Not moving. They were stationary. And they were there and then they were gone. And that was not a pixel on the screen. That was not a malfunction. They've spotted something. But they don't know what it is. They hope it could be a flying saucer. They believe America keeps hidden away in the desert. It's a notion that's deeply established within UFO circles. A theory that began with the greatest and most controversial flying saucer incident of them all, 